Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So we've got another good looking puzzle here. Um, this one is called Kropke Cross by Lunar Smith. And um, I don't really have a whole lot to say uh, as an intro per se. So let's just kind of jump into our rules and see what we can get figured out. So uh, what do we have? We've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So every row, every column, and every three by three box contains a digits one through nine each. We've got diagonals, so digits must not repeat on the main diagonal. So we have two diagonals. Digit can't repeat there. Digits can't repeat here. Uh, we've got killer cages. So I can put this down here. Uh, digits cannot repeat in cages and sum to the number in the top leftmost cell of the cage. So looking at this guy, let's say these three digits must add up to that 15. Then we've got XV pairs, so cells separated by a V sum to 5, cells separated by an X sum to 10, and not all Vs or Xs are necessarily given. So there's no negative constraint here, but the Vs, these two must add to 5, these Xs, the digits must add to 10. Quite simple. And then we have, it's called center crop key. Uh, and I'm wondering what the, if that means anything. Oh, okay, it's on a, I just noticed it now. It's on the center of a, it's not on your normal between two cells. So two cells diagonally separated by a black dot are in a one to two ratio. Uh, E.g. row two, column three uh, is in a one to two ratio with row three, column two. And also these two would be in a one to two ratio. And that's it. Those are the rules. Um, the center crop key is a little bit different. I think I've done one of those before, but I can't quite recall at, at this point. Um, something similar, at least I know I've seen before. Uh, but anyway, that said, let's uh, let's jump into this thing and see if we can get it figured. And the question's going to be, where the heck do we start? Well, I think there's a couple of things we can do. Trying to see what's the best. I mean, we know this 24 cage must be 9, 8, and 7. It's the only way you can get to 24 in three digits. And so maybe we need to really look at these crop keys and see what the options are going to end up being. Because we're going to have an instance, well, particularly in this, uh, in this uh, first region, and there might be other regions that it, it, it works in as well, but we have two, essentially two sets of black crop keys that, and they don't have to necessarily work with each other. Like this doesn't have to be a, like this could be a one, two, this could be a four, eight, or it could be one, two, three, six. There's no, there's no, there's not necessarily any kind of, well, obviously you can't have a 4-8 because you have a 79 up here, but there's nothing necessarily giving that you have to create a, a particular grouping. Now, saying that we, and this is probably the next step we need to take, is saying that there cannot be an 8. We know that there's going to be either a 1-2 pair or a 2-4 pair in whichever one of these this is. Now, we can't have both of them clearly because you can't do one, two, and two, four because they can't share a digit. So we're, we're going to know that one of these groupings must be a three, six. Does that help us? Let's kind of put some stuff in here and see. We know there's, there's a two somewhere in here. We know there's a three and a six somewhere in here. This one clearly can't be a six. Now, this can't be a 3, this one right here, because it would force this to be a 2, but we know there has to be a 2 over here. I'm s yeah, that's correct. So we either have, and we can't have a 2 here for the same reason, because if this is a 2, this has to be a 3, and we know that one of these groupings has to be a 3, 6. So this ends up being a 1, 4 style V which means we can get rid of ones and fours from both of these. Now, it's going to force this one just to be the two, because the, the two, we said we already have to have a two, and it has to go with either the one or the four. So this is going to be that grouping, and these are going to have to be from the three and six variety. And this right here is going to end up being a five. 
Now, I guess at the same time, we could have gone a little bit easier on ourselves and said, at least to get this five, but it wouldn't have necessarily said anything here. But if we, we know we had, can't have seven, eight, and nine, we know, we know that the seven, eight, nines are up here, sorry. And we know we can't put a five on a V clue or on a black crop key. It would have forced a five here. But like I said, this five at the moment is kind of inconsequential, I think. And I'm going to say that, and, and I'm sure it's not going to be, but it just does feel like it would be, doesn't it? Now, the next thing I was starting to see is on this diagonal, we have three sets of black crop keys, essentially. And we cannot repeat a digit. So what we're going to have is... Well, what that's, what that's telling me is that we cannot have a 2-4 pair. Because we have a 2-4 pair, we'd have to have a 3-6 pair in one of these other ones. And then we have absolutely nothing left to put in the last one because we can't pair a 1 and an 8 together. So this cannot be 2-4, so this must be the 1 and the 4. So we have a 1-2 pair, now we have to have a 4-8 pair and a 3-6 pair. This one clearly is not going to be 6 or 8. So this is a three or a four, which means this is ending up being either a one or a two. This therefore cannot be three, four, it's either six or eight. Now, if we know we have three, four, six, eight, this can't be eight. And these two must also be from, well, a five, seven, and a nine, or what these are, if we're looking at this diagonal. Because again, we can't put fives or sevens on black prop keys. So we have the three remaining that aren't on black prop keys being five, seven, or nine. Nine can't go on a black prop key either. Okay. Now, if this is a one or a two, this has to be one, two, or four Does that do anything for us? don't necessarily see it. it does let's see let's look at the options here if this is three this ends up being two this could be one or four this is four this is one this is two yeah it doesn't seem to really do much there so um maybe we can get something further down here in this 11 clue we can't have four or five we know these are either going to be, okay, well, it's going to be something, I think, because whatever this, this set of V, it must be the same variety here. So if this was a 1-4 pair, this would have to be a 1-4 pair. If this was a 2-3 pair, this would have to be a 2-3 pair, but we can't put a 4 here, so this has to be from the 2s and the 3s. And that said, what does that do for us? We have to be able to put a 1 in here, I think. Because we said we can't do a 4 or a 5. So if we had a 2 or a 3 and we don't have a 1, we have to have 6 and 7, and that's already way over the 11. So there has to be a 1 in here, which is going to force there to be a 1 over here somewhere. And that might start giving us information here, but I'm going to look at this further. If this is a 1-2 pair, this has to be an 8. If it's a 1-3 pair, it has to be from a 7. Okay. I don't think that did too much, really. We do know there has to be a 6 up here. I think at the moment, I'm kind of picking away at this thing. What can we do with some of these other pages uh, or crop keys? Let's look at this 14, I guess, because there's a couple of possibilities, and one of them is going to be ruled out immediately. Okay, I probably should have seen this. How do you make 14 in two, in two cells? It's either 9, 5, or 8, 6. We can't put either 9 or 5 on a black crop key, so this is just 8, 6. Now, therefore, this can't be an 8. So this is just a 1-7 pair, which is the 8. So this has to be the 3 to make 11. And these have to both be 2s. Now then, 
this one seven is also going to see this as there and give us a nine and then that nine is going to be removed from these guys so we're getting a little bit of information figured out and this one has to be what six and eight so we're going to get a six eight pair going across here i'm not quite sure if that's going to be too useful but we can use this six eight pair here to look up here give us three and six and also the seven and the eight now then uh, I'm sure we can do something here because of this, but I'm going to move here for just a second. So we know we have a 1 in it. We can't have 2, 3, 6, 7, or 8 in it. So what's left over? We need to be able to make another 14. And therefore, it's, a, it's going to be similar to this. We have to be able to make 14. There's only two ways to make 14 in two digits, which is 6, 8, and 9, 5. So if we put... Uh, we, can, we can't put 6, 8 in here to make the 14, so this has to be the 1, 9, 5. And therefore, we get this digit, which has, has to be a 4. And again, I don't know if we want to fill these in, but I guess I'm going to. They have to be from 5 and 9. And we could do the same here, but I'm not going to at the moment. So we've got this 6 and an 8. So we know one of these is a 3, and one of them is a 4. We can't put the 3 here, so therefore this can't ever be a 6. So this is the 8, this is the 6, this is the 3, and this is the 4. Now that's going to remove this as being... So we get a 1-2 pair here. And do we have anything else looking at this? I don't think so. I'm trying to look around. We've, this can't be 4, so this can't be 8. This can't be 3, so this can't be 6. And was there anything else that was cutting over? And it doesn't appear to be. All right. A little bit of jostling around. It's, it seems to be working out just fine. Now, I'm not sure if this one's going to be helpful yet. Or if maybe we need to start looking at some of these 10 clues to help us figure out something like this 10 clue here. We know it can't be 8, 2, or 6, 4, but it still leaves 9, 1, and 7, 3. I was hoping maybe something would have ruled this out, but it doesn't on the diagonal. The 33 Page. Is there anything given here? It's a five cell cage. There must be a nine in it somewhere. There must be a five and a seven in it, uh, which is tw 21, nine, five, and seven. So we have 12. Oh, sorry, I just said nine, five, and seven was. 21, so we have 12 left, and 8, 4 would work. We can't do it any other way, right, to get to 12, because we, again, we, we've already used the 5 and the 7. Yeah, that's got to be it. So this, we have to do the 8, 4, which means this has to be the 6, 3 to allow that to occur, this must be the 2 and the 1. And then we can get an 8 and a 6 here. Now, again, we just said these have to be from 4, 5, 7, 8, and 9. And... And uh, what does that give me, is the question. And there's a couple little things that I can rule out, like this can't be 8, this can't be 4, but those are piddling little things, really. What about any of these digits? Is there anything, are we getting anywhere where we can actually start looking at some Sudoku? Don't necessarily know that we are. But we do certainly have a number of digits that are poking about. 
Um, just looking about, seeing what's what. I guess we're going to need to look at this crop key. Because again, we've got, these are the options. These can't be from 1, 3, or 6 anymore. Uh, this can't have a 2 on it. This, these can't have 3s or 6s at all because of that. A 3 or a 6 on it. So we're going to have a, a 1, 2, and a 4, 8 in some variety here. Essentially what's going on. Now how do we make an, a 15 cage work with those limitations? Because we can't have the 8 and the 4 here because we have to have an 8, 4, and a, a 1, 2. So 8, 4 is out in terms of what it's going to have to be. And, and I think with that... No, I guess we could do a 2, 4 pair and put the 9 up here, right? Because the 2 would go with the 1, the 4 would go with the 8. I was starting to think we might have had to have an 8 in here, but I don't think that is the case. But if there is an 8 on it, it is 8, 2 to get us to 10, and this would have to be a 5. If there isn't an 8 on it, it would be the 2, 4, and this would have to be the 9 to get us up to 15. Um, I feel like there has to be, I mean, there's so many options I've written in here. What, is there anything remaining out here that should be usable? Um, doesn't look like it. What about six? Oh, okay, the six is useful. We can't put a six in any of these positions now. So it has to go here. Oh, and we this six here, we could have looked we could have looked down here and gotten some more information too. Because again, I I just I haven't looked at it, looked back at it. I was trying to figure some other things. So this has to be four. Uh, this has to be eight. And that puts an eight up here somewhere, just by Sudoku. Can we do anything with this ten clue? Or this ten clue at this point? What are our options? <clears throat> it could be one nine. It can't be two eight. Can't be seven three because we have two threes looking at it. And it can't be six four. So it just is a one nine. Hmm, that's kind of interesting. I guess we would we would we would get to that point eventually where this thing would be limited uh, quite thoroughly. So we do have a 1-9 here now. In fact, we know one of these has to be 1, so this can't be a 1. And this can't be 1 just by Sudoku, so I guess we can throw our 1 in here. Is there anything else like that we could look at? I don't, I don't see it. Oh, the 4 here now is going to remove these as options. So we know we have a 4. Why couldn't this be a three? Did I just not put that option in there? Think about that for a second, because this could still be eight. No, it can't be eight, four. We just said that. We said that previously, because if it was eight, we have to have eight, four going across, and one, two going across. So that's, so uh, this is, the, the marking here is correct. A nine, one of these has to be a nine, because one of these can be, which means that's not a nine. Again, these are little deductions, but they are something. Okay, how about the three now in this row? The three just has to go here. There's nowhere else for it 
these two, I guess we'll, we'll finally break down and, and put our, our markings here. These have to be from four and seven. Now, can we start looking on this diagonal? Because I haven't even, I haven't looked at it yet. So there's, I'm sure there's plenty of things I could start removing as options. As in, well, this can't be three, so this can't be seven. That wasn't a whole lot, was it? And we haven't looked at this 10 cage, or 10, or 10 X clue. Can we know it? It can't be 6473. It could be 19 or 82 in this fashion. There again, we don't seem to rule out any possibilities up here in this 33 cage. <clears throat> okay, let me look at Sudoku for a second because I'm not seeing a whole lot with these other clues right now. So we'll see if we can figure out what's what here. I guess we can't necessarily rule out a one from here because it could be. No, we can rule out. We can't have a one in here. Because if we put a one in here, we have a 17 left over, which has to be nine, eight. There's an eight here. So there's no ones in any of those. So we do end up having a one in one of these, and we have a one over here, which creates an X wing, which means this can't be a one. So let's put that in like this. Now this can't be a one, so this can't be a nine. Okay, again, we're making bits of progress. And what about this 18 clue? We know it can't have a 1, 3, or 4. It could be 5, 6, 7, couldn't it? Just trying to see if we could rule out the possibility of a 2 here. Now, if we put a 2 in it, we have 16 left over, so it has to be 9, 7. That doesn't work. Because if we put 2 in here, like I said, we have to have 9, 7. Well, that's 2, 9, and 7. This would be forced to be a 1. This would have to be a, a, a 9, which we said 9 goes down here. So 2 doesn't work. There we go. That's probably what needed to, to think on. Uh, therefore, it must be a 5, 6, 7. Because that's all that's left over. That can equal up to 18, which means this is our 9 and this is our 5, which does therefore rule out 5s here. Now, if this is 5, 6, and 7, these two digits are going to be given as 2s and 3s. And six, where does it go now? It has to go here. This has to be either five or seven because all it's left over in this region. Uh, this is one, eight, or nine. Hmm. I was hoping these things would do a lot more for me than they seem to be doing, but uh, we probably just need to get a little bit more information and then it'll start unraveling itself. One, two, three, and eight. We do have a quad here. What does that mean these have to be? Five, six, seven, and nine. Now we know this one wasn't nine or six. This can't be six. There's a four, seven pair looking here, so this can't be a seven. So this ends up being a five, nine pair which gives us this digit, which is a three. And this digit, which is a seven, right? Yeah, it's the only thing left. So this is four and seven over here. That causes this to be a four, which means none of these are. This can't be a seven. And we are getting closer and closer. 
Um, this can't be from seven or nine. This can't be from five or six because of this diagonal. We have now a seven, nine pair, which means on the diagonal, which means this can't be seven or nine. So it is eight. Get rid of our eights over here. That eight is going to give us our one here, which means this has to be two. This has to be eight. This has to be four. And what does that open up? Three and two. To keep scanning up and down to make sure I'm not missing something. Because I know I probably am. This has to just either be one or nine. So this cannot be a one nine pair because of this. So in this row, all we have left is one, two, and nine. This can't be two, and this can't be two, actually. So we just put the two here, but it does, if it, if we didn't have that type of situation occur, we couldn't put one nine here because this would have absolutely no use. So this is two and this is eight. And therefore, this is not eight. And that creates another one nine pair here. So this is not nine. And that does what further for us? We know these are five, seven, and nine. This has to be from one. Oh, we just need a one. Let's look at it that way. There has to be a one here. And it can't be here. So it's here. And then the other digit must be an eight. And that's the only possible option. Now we can also go back and look at our diagonal and say we have one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine on it. So this must be the two. It's the only thing left over. In fact, these two digits, we can look at this column and say these are from four and five. And we have fours and fives looking over here. So this is five, this is four. That one is going to that we got previously is going to give us our three and our seven and the five is going to give us our six and the seven is going to give us our nine and then we can five nine uh, nine plus two plus four does equal 15 that's good this is five this is seven this is five this is nine this is seven uh, this nine is going to give us our five and our nine and we should be quite close to being in just straight up Sudoku land. And in fact, I think we just are. This can't be five. This can't be six. So let's take a gander and see what we've got left over. Ones. Well, we, we know where the one goes. Can't go in any of these because of this guy here. So this is the one. And yeah, we still have an X-wing left on the ones, but that's fine. That's going to get broken up here sooner or later. Our twos similar this has to be two the three has to go up here four has to go here so therefore this has to be a five these have to be from six and seven right yep this has to be a six then because of this seven that's seven uh, this is going to be the five because of that and therefore seven and six this is what we need eight and nine, so that's nine. This is eight. And, okay, this is, I, again, I just hadn't gotten to it, but this is how it's going to finalize our little X-wing here. This two means this has to be a one. This has to be a nine. I probably could have seen that a lot earlier, but whatever. <laughs> it got there in the end, and therefore this is a nine. This is a one. Here we go. We saw the puzzle solutions correct. That was a lot of fun. Um, there was a little bit of scrounging around to see where I needed to look, but otherwise it was an excellent puzzle. I really enjoyed that one. Um, it all kind of worked together quite well once I, once I figured out where I needed to look. And sometimes, of course, just putting in uh, digits so that they're there can help you visualize that. And I sometimes avoid that because reasons. <laughs> anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this one. I certainly did as well. Um, if you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. It helps me out immensely. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.